game going on right now. PSA Early College took the lead during that segment, 90 to 80 over Mission Collegiate. That means Mission, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes from which to choose. You can choose any one you'd like, one, two, or three. Number three. Holding the hands up saying number three. So let's see what we've got. You have 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in here. Okay. If you don't know one, they pass. If there's time within the 60 seconds, we'll come back. The category you've chosen is ends in hole, H-O-L-E, ends in hole. All right? Playing by yourselves. Don't need your buzzers. 60 seconds. Here we go. A window in a ship. Porthole. Yes. A hole in the surface of a road caused by traffic and bad weather. Pothole. Yes. A covered opening allowing access to a sewer or Manhole. other. Manhole. Yes. The nostril of a whale or dolphin on the top Blow of its hole. head. Yes. A small hole in a door through which visitors may be identified. People? Yes. A cavity formed in the earth when underlying material collapses. Sinkhole. Yes. To accost and detain a person in conversation. Pass. Pass. To assign to an often restrictive category. Pass. An ambiguity or inadequacy in the law or set of rules. Loophole. Yes. A small enclosed space or room. Pass. We'll go back. To accost and detain in conversation. Pass. To assign to an often restrictive category. Pass. A small enclosed space or room. And time is up. Got seven correct? Well done. That's a bunch. That's good. The three we didn't get to accost and detain a person in conversation is to buttonhole them. To assign to an often restrictive category is pigeonhole. And finally, a small enclosed space or room is a Cubby hole. A cubby hole. Oh, even the audience. Oh, okay. All right, PSG Early College, it's your turn. You have two envelopes remaining. One and two. One. Number one it is. Same rules. Ten questions, 60 seconds. Pass if you don't know. And your category is history. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> sound, right? <laughs> All right. 60 seconds. Here we go. What empire reached its greatest extent in AD 117? Pass. What empire controlled most of Asia and Eastern Europe in the late 13th century? Mongols. Yes. In 1453, Mehmed II began a successful siege of what city? The Pass. Pass. Portugal's claim to Mozambique is traced to 1498, when which explorer was the first European to land there? Marco Polo? No. Francisco de Orellana explored what river that he named for the bow and arrow to bow and arrow toting women he observed on it? Pass. In the mid-16th century, which Swiss city was dubbed the Protestant Rome? Pass. Canada and the Mississippi Valley were the first explored by which European nation? The French. Yes. Which commoner declined the English crown in 1657? Pass. Martin Fro Frobisher's three attempts to find what all ended in a bay named for him? The Canadian Passage? No. <laughs> Which animal introduced by Spanish conquistadors revolutionized the way plains Horses. Indians hunted buffalo? Was that on time or no? They hurried, yeah. They hurried, they got it? Okay, so that's correct. Horses was correct. How many did we get? Three. Three correct. Let's go over the others. The empire that reached its greatest ex extent in 117 was the Roman Empire. In 1453, Mehmed began a successful siege of Constantinople. Portugal's claim to Mozambique is traced to 1498 when Vasco da Gama was the first European to land there. Uh, Francisco de Orellana explored the Amazon River. Uh, in the mid-16th century, the Swiss city Geneva was dubbed the Protestant Rome. The commoner declined the English crown in 1657 was Oliver Cromwell. Martin Frobisher's three attempts to find the Northwest Passage uh, all ended. And finally, uh, the last one, you got the one about the horse. So that's it. So that puts you up to 105 points, so you're still trailing by 10. We've got one envelope remaining, which no one chose. Envelope number two. Everybody plays on this one, okay? So you need your buzzers. Let's see if you're glad you didn't choose this or wish maybe you would have, right? Okay, answers begin and end with the letter R. All answers begin and end with the letter R. Everybody's playing. Here we go. A person who enjoys books. PSJ Lillian. Reader? Yes. A cooling appliance. PSJ Lillian. Refrigerator? Yes. A machine for cutting standing grain. That's Mission Mario. Reaper? Yes. A university official responsible for students' records. That's PSJ Lillian. Recruiter? No. Mission anyone? Time is up. Registrar. A system used to measure the strength of earthquakes. PSJ Eliud. Richter. Yes. A full, deep, prolonged sound. That's Mission Harry. Reverb. 
No. Okay, oh. anyone? All right, uh, Stephanie. Aurora. Aurora is correct. A person who runs an eating establishment. That's PSJ Stephanie. <laughs> Time is up. Okay, we're too late. Uh, Lillian, how about Mission? Anyone in Mission want to ring in? Uh, Harry. Restauranter? <laughs> yes, a restaurateur was the way we pronounce it. Unmanned vehicle sent to Mars or the Moon. That's Mission Harry. Rover? Yes, that's correct. And time is up. That made it a good game, didn't it? And our score right now, PSG Early College 145, Mission Collegiate 135. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for art and music. Each question worth 20 points. Should be good. Don't go away. <laughs> 